Hey, what's up guys? I just uh, added some uh, couple of plants to my uh, frog tank here. I, I added um, this pathos plant. Well, a clipping of it back there. I also added this plant here. Petonia, something like that. Red Annie. I put it in the front there. As you can see, there goes the frog there. The white tree frog. And I got this vine growing up there. Just kind of like, sort of pinched it up here. Just for, for it to hold on. It's looking like that. Got the fern going there. I should add. A, I should have added some of uh, those uh, balls on the bottom to keep the water level low. Maybe I'll move everything, but I'm not sure yet. But this weekend, I will be going to the New York Reptile Show and hopefully picking up a couple of other new uh, animals. So I got to see what they have there. Hopefully, maybe I'll get a frog or, or a tortoise or something like that. It all depends what they have there. All right, so right now I'm giving my tortoises a little shower here and just uh, scrubbing their plastron shell, bottom of the shell, clean. That's uh, the, uh, the new one that I got that my wife uh, got for me for Christmas. That's the little one. And this is the big one that I have here has grown almost two inches since I measured the last. She's about 11 inches already. She's got huge, well, he, I think it's a male because on the bottom of the plastron, uh, it's getting concave. So I believe he's a male. I'm going with male now. I thought, it, I thought he was a female. But I'm going with male now because the bottom of the plastron is curving in. And you can't really tell until they're about a foot. So he's almost about a foot now. It's about 11 inches now. It's pretty heavy. So I had him for three years already. Like I said, like I said before, the first year he didn't grow much. And uh, now he's growing like practically daily. And this is my Russian tortoise over here. Growing very, it's already adult. So he hasn't really grown much. Just a little tinsy bit. So I'm just giving him a quick shower. I normally don't like to give them, uh, to wet them, but only to uh, clean them up. I know some people, they soak their tortoises but I've had bad experiences with soaking the tortoises because they get wet and cold and stuff like that and had a couple of them get sick, young ones. So I have, I have had way better success not soaking them. Well, that's just what I'm doing and they have been doing good and not sur and surviving. Then I've had a couple of once don't do good that I've had in the past by soaking them daily once it's working out so I decided to try not to soak them daily I just give them a, a quick shower and I scrub them clean once in a while but mainly I keep them dry that's what I do keep them dry and I've had better way better success than to soak them daily it just doesn't work for me uh, I, I believe that when you soak them daily, there's a high chance they're going to catch a chill and they're going to get cold and sick. So, so far, 
these two are doing great. Well, these three are doing great. And I know this guy, he doesn't really like to get wet. But uh, uh, it's been working for me. Just giving them a shower once in a while. Just to clean them off, you know. Sometimes they have poop on the bottom. So I, I usually scrub it off with, with the brush. But like I said, I've had better success than not soaking them daily. Like this guy here. Uh, I had two of them. I bought, I actually purchased two of them. And I used to soak them daily. And one, one got sick and died. So I stopped doing that. Uh, and because I had this one left. And I, as soon as I stopped doing that, this one did great. And look how big is it now, you know, it is now. Right, so I don't do, I do, I do not soak them daily anymore. I just give them a quick uh, shower, give them water to drink, and that's it. This is my theory. As far as people say uh, uh, about pyramiding on the tortoises, uh, I don't believe it has anything to do with uh, moisture or anything like that. I believe it mainly has to do with diet. Uh, I believe if you feed them too much, uh, maybe the wrong foods or just too much in general, I think that uh, it causes pyramiding because they, the, the, maybe it has something to do with the rapid growth because this one, I, well my tortoises, I keep them out in the summer, right? And, uh, and and during the winter I bring them inside and I have the UV lights and stuff like that and the heat and all that. Uh, so last year when I took this one out, it's been out through the whole summer. So I noticed, and, and this, is, this tortoise has been outside, like I said, in the summer. Uh, just a little slight pyramiding on top. That has uh, developed during the summer while it was outside. So I do feed them a lot. And I don't think it had anything to do with the sun. I believe it has to do with how much you're feeding them and the foods. Not... It has nothing to do, I don't think it has anything to do with the, uh, with the moisture or, uh, that's my theory. I'm doing some tests now with uh, plants and stuff, growing some plants. So I, I purchased this uh, spineless cactus on eBay to see how it does uh, as far as growth and stuff like that. And uh, if it grows pretty good, I'm just going to purchase like a few more and plant them out. So like I said, I will be attending the New York Reptile Show uh, this weekend. And hopefully I'll get a few new animals. Possibly a tortoise and maybe a couple of frogs. So I'll see what happens. And don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later on the next video. Later.